But when I received the offer to come to the IGS as a permanent professor, I was actually just completely shocked because I never even thought to dream that one day I could have such a position, which I feel gives absolutely perfect working conditions for a research mathematician such as myself. Um, and I want to thank the people at the IHS uh, for their confidence in giving me this honor, which I take as an opportunity to do the best work that I possibly can. Um, and I'm, so I'm extremely grateful to them, as well as to Philippe and Claire Listondeur and, and James and Marilyn Simons for their donation, which allows the creation of this chair that I am now uh, uh, holding. And I'm particularly happy that the chair carries the name of Jean-Pierre Bourguignon, who is a renowned mathematician and who has made also so many important contributions to this institution, which is now my new, my new working home. Um, so I already arrived, uh, I already started work here uh, last April, and I, I feel that I'm, I'm getting going, things are going well. Um, so on the one, so my interests in mathematics are on the one hand quite close to those of uh, various other professors who have been here. Um, notably, uh, I feel a, a particularly close personal connection to Alexandre Cotondic and Maxime Kinsevich, who is still a permanent uh, professor here. They're both actually mathematical heroes of mine, and it's extremely humbling to be on the same list of the, as them on uh, any 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 list whatsoever. <laughs> um, uh, Yes, but I also believe that I bring certain new directions to the Institute that I hope to, to pursue in, in the coming years. Um, so may, I would just like to say a little bit about what I've been, what I've been engaged in since I arrived in April. In fact, the, the conference that we had on Friday that uh, launched this chair does, a, I think, a pretty good job of representing my mathematical interests. So we had four talks. The first talk was by Thomas Schlank, who is a uh, homotopy theorist who recently did some remarkable work uh, well, joint with Robert Birkeland and Ishan Levy and Jeremy Hahn, uh, disproving what was known as the telescope conjecture. And what they've really done is change our entire conception about uh, how what stable homotopy theory looks like. And I think it's uh, really exciting, and it was great to hear Tomer talk about it. And uh, n and after that, we had uh, we had a talk by. Well, I actually forget the order of the talks, but maybe it's not so matter. At, at, at some point, we had a, a talk by Arthur César Le Bras, who is uh, doing some fantastic work in the foundations of piadic geometry and really deepening our understanding of piadic geometry and things like the piadic Langlands uh, program. Um, and then we had a uh, we had a, a, a really really interesting talk by Vincent Piloni, who has made remarkable progress with his collaborators uh, on modularity questions. So this is really hardcore number theory, um, but they introduced some really interesting new ideas uh, um, which let them go mu uh, much further than had been uh, done, done before. And then we had uh, Peter Schulze give a rather fantastic, and I mean that in both senses of the word, uh, talk uh, about how uh, the theory that he and I have been developing recently uh, should have something to say about uh, the theory of motives, which was a, a subject very dear to the heart of, uh, well, a subject invented and very dear to the heart of uh, Colton Dick. Uh, who worked here before. Um, so it's, uh, broadly speaking, uh, al uh, homotopy theory, algebraic topology, algebraic geometry, analytic geometry, yeah, topology, a, kind of a broad range of subjects that I'm interested in. And um, one other thing that I've been uh, occupied with over the past year is uh, giving a course, a rather long course, uh, together with Peter Schulze. It's kind of a an interesting new format where we alternate giving two-hour lectures um, on Wednesdays and Fridays, and we have local audiences here at the IHES, but also in Bonn where Peter is lecturing, and it's broadcast simultaneously. And on YouTube, many people are following the lectures, thousands of people are watching them and trying to learn the theory that we've been developing, which is um, a theory called uh, condensed, uh, condensed mathematics, which we're using to provide new foundations for analytic geometry. And this is something that many people have uh, been been learning. We're very very grateful that many people have made the attempt to, to learn this theory. Of we've we've been developing it, and not just learn it, but have already been applying it to a number of interesting problems. In fact, this conference I mentioned, uh, uh, three of the talks were about applications of the theory that Peter and I had been well, used the mathematics that Peter and I have been developing to to really push their field uh, further. Uh, so I've been doing that course with Peter, which is a lead up to writing down all of the, writing down what we know in the form of a book, so that we can communicate and make it easier for people to understand what we've been, what we've been working on. Because I do believe it is quite uh, fundamental that we're creating a, 
a language that didn't exist before. And this was what I this is what I, I realized needed to be done many years ago. I was running into mathematical objects which I could see existed, but there was no language to describe them. And now we feel there is, and I think this is important. Um, and I've also had several visitors, for example, Robert Birkeland, who I mentioned earlier, came here for a week and we managed to prove a, a, a rather famous conjecture in, a, in, in the field, so we're very happy about that. I don't usually go around proving conjectures, but in this case it was just a, a good way to test whether we had been doing, the, whether the community had been doing good work developing techniques in the field, and it turned out they had because we could, we could prove this conjecture, that was nice. Um, and I have a, a long-term collaborator, Mikla Rasnes Jensen, who's been visiting here, and I've been, we've been developing a good theory of unstable algebraic K theory, and that's been going quite well. So I'm very pleased with my first almost year here, and I, uh, I'm dedicated to continuing and doing the best I can. I feel it's, I, I, I have to because I've been given this amazing opportunity, and I'm looking forward to, to trying. Thank you.